Hello everybody, Zeno here, and today I want to talk about Bethesda and mainly more of the Elder Scrolls. Pretty much on the new game that they're going to be making, because we all know they're going to have to make one. With the success of Skyrim, heck, even with the success of Oblivion and Morrowind and how popular those games still are, you all, we all know Bethesda's going to make a sixth game. You know, wherever they may set it, where if it may be in um, Valenwood, Hammerfell, High Rock, we don't freaking know. But all we know is they're making a new one, and I want to see, personally, these are five things I want them to see implemented in Elder Scrolls VI. Now, none of these will be in a particular order. These are kind of just five things I kind of came up with while just typing away one day. So I guess we'll just start off with the first thing that I came to the mind, and as and that is uh, the 3D character model screen. You know, the thing in Oblivion where your character was like in the corner right here like this. And you got to preview his armor in the menu screen. Yeah, I want that to come back. It was pretty nifty. I mean, I know Skyrim had the minimalistic menu, so you can kind of see your dude previewed in the screen while being frozen. But something about having your character nullified from the rest of the lighting and the interface made it just a lot, look a lot better and your character was already animated so you kind of got to see and get a feel of what he looked like in the armor. Uh, I just, it's just the little things in games like that I like to see come back. It was just very nifty and they better put it back. It's not a big thing if they don't, but it'd be awesome if they did. The second thing is a better integrated map menu. Uh, you know how in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, Bethesda made the cool thing where you pop into your Pip-Boy into the menu and stuff like that? I want them to see something implemented like that in the Elder Scrolls. Now I'm going to throw up a thing here where it'll make it look like in Skyrim my character is going to pull up a map. And on the map, you know, this is, this is the easy that they can do. They already did it in Fallout 3 and 4. You just pop up the map and then it'll have like the HUD screen on the menu where it can tell you where the quests are. But it just looks, it'll, it'll be more convincing and a lot more immersive to see your own character pull out a map of the Providence and then figure out where he goes next as you hold it in, kind of like they do in Fallout. Uh, I'd also want to integrate this into the journal system as well because, I mean, Fallout uses the Pip-Boy for everything in the game. So seeing that the journal and the map are two different things in Elder Scrolls, you'd have, you know, boom, a journal book and the map. So you'd have two fitting animations that pull things up just as smoothly and it'd be one of the best ways they could ever improve the Elder Scrolls in general. It could be a staple of Bethesda games. You know, Fallout does the Pip-Boy thing and Bethesda, you know, the Elder Scrolls does the whole map from first person thing. It'd be pretty cool. Now, the third thing I came up with, this one probably will not happen at all, is pretty much probably the other ones too because they're probably maybe too far in development. But this one would take a lot of work, and it would be neat if we saw it implemented in some way. But you know how in Fallout 4, they, they, they made a weapon customization kind of thing with the weapons. You can make your pistol look different with all the different attachments and barrel lengths. It'd be kind of cool if they did that for Elder Scrolls to where you can make a great sword and have different kinds of health. So you can have different kinds of grips, maybe made of a cheap string or, you know, really tightened leather, things like that. You could have different hilt styles. You know, and then you can go even further into customization and enhance on what Fallout 4 built and have like a, maybe a paint system, kind of like what other FPS games do with the guns, where you can kind of mark the, the, your weapons with unique symbols and stuff like that, or at the very least, do like an etching, so you can, when you build a new, like a new sword you made at the blacksmith, you can etch in, you know, that you made it, your character made it, or it could say anything like dicky buttholes or something like that. Or it could be like Xeno made this and have cool integrated things like that. And even then you can make, you can even make the things and then share them online and do something cool like that. Now this will probably never come to fruition, but if they did include it, it'd be very nice. Now the number four one is a big one in my book. And that is for the Elder Scrolls to have just more NPCs, you know, just way more. I don't care if they have some reason to talk to me and give me a quest, or they're just some guy in the background walking around doing nothing. I just want to see towns and villages be more alive. I mean, here, just look at this. You see this? You see this, Bethesda? 
This is Assassin's Creed Unity, and I know it's a bad, it's a buggy game, but just look how many people are walking around doing their daily lives as they're blending in into the town and stuff like that. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm not, a, I, I don't play a lot of Assassin's Creed myself, but when I play it with my friends, it was pretty cool just to walk around and see everybody do stuff, and then, oh, boom, look, some guy's getting robbed, time to go save him. See, seeing things like that, just more NPCs would be very nice. You just, you, you, you know, you'd have to complement NPCs with bigger towns, you get fuller towns. I mean, if you really think about it, White Run isn't even a city at all, let alone a hold. You just got just the couple of, the couple of shops that people also live for houses in. And then they got a couple of the houses for the other NPCs, and then you got the Jarl's, you know, I was gonna say stronghold, but I don't think that's what it's called. But you just you really think about it, that is small. This is really tiny compared to other things like that. So yeah, you need more NPCs, maybe a bigger, little bit bigger cities. Just something to make the world more alive and more convincing. And the fifth thing is something I kind of tacked on at the last second. This was actually going to be a four things I want to see in Elder Scrolls 6. But I made it a five. And that is seasons. You guys did it already. You even saw it. Here, I'm going to throw up the footage in the background of me. They integrated seasons into Skyrim right after the game was developed. But no one was able to re-implement this. Probably because of the engine limitations. They probably was only able to do that in the little area they loaded in. But now that we have better technology, you should be able to put seasons into the game. Just dynamically do stuff like that. It would be awesome. If I remember correctly, Daggerfall already had a seasonal system into the game where you would travel and go to a town and it would take so long, you'd appear, boom, it's winter time over there and it'd be snowing. And then, oh, you want to go back to this side of the, you know, Tam Nern, sorry, Nern. Tamriel is the bigger island, but Nern is the whole planet. You go on the other side and earn and boom, shboom, it's spring, you know, you got that dynamic kind of seasonal weather system. And I honestly thought that would be in Fallout, and I'm kind of sad it wasn't. And I think it might not be able to be implemented in the Fallout via mods. You might probably have to dig into the engine code itself to do that. But you guys better put that in the next Elder Scrolls. It'll just make it one of the best games ever made. Especially if you put the other four things too. It'll just become one of the best customizable open world do whatever you want kind of game and everybody will love it. Everyone will love it. But that's basically it guys, those are the five things. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you, well I don't hope, I mean, I, 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 you know, it'd be cool if you guys agree with me on these features. I think they're all pluses, I don't see any negatives other than like NPCs dropping performance on slower rigs and maybe the consoles. But I, I can just only see them implementing these to make the game better. And pretty much on that note, I'm out of here. So Zeno, out. To fight the dragons. And what do I get? An arrow in the knee. Been too long since we've had a good arrow in the knee. You come up to me, fists raised. You're looking for an arrow in the knee.